Oh my god. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking this video today. You're here with your girl Rose, and today I have with me Buggy, my little blue parrot, and I also have Luna. Now today we're going to do a react on episode 30 of Attack on Time. I'm super excited to see this episode today because as some of you may know, in the last episode we saw Ymir turning into a ton. Now I was so shocked at that, I was not expecting that. And when I was editing my videos, she actually kind of looks like a scary titan. Annie's titan just looks a little bit sad like how she is. Um, Ymir's titan actually looks a little bit scary. Maybe it's because she was turning into the titan. Those are just my thoughts on Ymir's titan. I'm super excited for this episode today. How badass Rhino was in the last episode. Now I also think that it kind of does throw out my titan theory about Rhino being a titan because if he was a titan I think he would have healed faster like when Eren lost his arm and his leg and then when he turned into a titan his arms and leg grew back but I'm super excited for this episode today and I still strongly believe that the titan that we saw who was on top of Connie's house may actually be Connie's mom and so Maybe we'll figure that out in this episode today. And I just wanted to quickly give a shout out to female soldier in the last episode. I can't remember her name, but you know, that team lost to those titans. Maybe if it hadn't been for the beast titan throwing whatever it is that he threw at them, maybe they would have won. The horses would still be alive and they would still be able to escape. She sacrificed herself for her friend Gelga because um, as you guys remember in the last episode, um, Gelger had kind of given up, he had nothing left, and she only had a bit of gas left, and Gelger fell, and she went and jumped and tried to save Gelger. And so, in saving Gelger, she used up all her gas and didn't make it herself. I also wanted to say, you know, in the last episode, I thought it was really weird how, I don't know, it's probably nothing, but I remember when I watched it, I was like, oh, that's a weird thing to say. But as she's getting eaten by the Titans, she's like, oh no, father, stop. I'm sorry, I won't do it again. And that's maybe when um, you're so close to death, you're just imagining things. I don't know, I think it's a little bit weird to say. Could she also be seeing her father in the Titans, like how Connie saw his mum in that Titan? Could one of these Titans possibly be her dad? Anyways, I'm probably thinking a little bit too much into this, but let's get to today's episode. So today's episode is called Historia. Did you hear that, Bucky? It's called Historia. It's Historia. Okay, so we are with Armin, Mikasa, and Eren. Okay, so I recall in the previous episode, I'm pretty sure these guys are off on a side mission to block the hole using Eren's ability, Titan ability. Same time, get to the bottom of this. And also, Aaron will finally be able to get to the basement and figure it out or see what it is his dad wanted him to see. I'm a little bit confused as to what's going on because I actually thought we would see Ymir in her Titan form. Of course, we don't get to see that. Not yet anyway. But so, it looks like they're being trained. Okay, so Krista is missing. Okay, I do remember in the previous episode, Pastor Nick saying there was an individual the religious sect was supposed to monitor, and so I believe it is Krista. Now I wonder what importance Krista has in this world of Attack on Titan, because now she's gone missing. And of course, Ymir is missing as well. <laughs> Exactly, like Aaron said, it will be too late. Now, I also remember in the last episode, Krista and Ymir talking, and just before Ymir jumped, she said to Krista, remember what we said. The promise that those two made when they were in training at the Snowy Mountain. So this must be it. Oh, that's a bit harsh, Ymir. Like, 
nobody knows what their body is capable of until they're pushed in. You can't blame him for wanting to try to get to the military police. Oh, she's so harsh. I mean, I guess she's also right in that sense that um, if they keep moving, they're not going to make it. So they should probably find a spot where they can just bunker in and stay warm and that will hopefully keep them alive till the next day when they will send a search party. Whoa, I never said leave Daz here though and save ourselves or all three of us will die. Her choices are very different to what I had just said. Oh, Kusta is so beautiful, oh my god. <laughs> Yumi is not gonna leave her. <laughs> you know, why doesn't Yumi just like help out instead of letting Krista just struggle all on her own? Oh, she's waiting for Krista to ask for help. Does Crystal want to die? It's you? Who, who is she? The mistress's daughter who had people after your life. What? Who is she? I think Ymir is part of that religious group. Oh wait, no actually, sorry. She's just stealing things to stay alive. Scrap that. An illegitimate child? Typical. What did I tell you guys earlier in the previous episodes? Those with power want to stay in power. Oh. She was forced to join the cadet corps. Okay, so it appears that Krista was forced to join the corps, but her score was still high enough that she could have joined the military police and so it was a choice that she chose to go with the survey corps. Ooh, did she join the cadet corps to kill Krista? But she said that she has a very similar background to Krista so maybe she, Ymir has people chasing after her as well? Oh my god! That's horrible! He'll never survive the fall! Whoa, Ymir, chill out! Oh my god! Oh my god, do not tell me Ymir is throwing Daz over the cliff. Oh, did Ymir turn into her ton and like get Daz, drop him off at the training base and then go back for Krista? I mean, actually she probably didn't do that because that's really suspicious if she did. And I'm pretty sure Armin would have worked it out. Oh my god. Aaron, the instructor said no. Oh my god. Ryan is not going to stop you. He's going to come with you, Aaron. Oh my god. Oh There's Marco there too. You know, that's really important because if they find Krista and Sasha, they're going to be hungry. So good job, Sasha. Good job in bringing those extra rations. Who is it? Oh my god. Oh my god, it's Yumir. She's already back at the camp. What did you do, Yumir? Oh. 
She didn't throw him off the cliff. Oh my god. Okay. This is what I think Ymir did. She turned into a Titan and just before she got close to the camp, she transformed back into a human form and went to the camp and saved Daz's life. But my question is, why did she save Daz's life? What was the point? There's a promise, guys. Oh my god. And the sun's coming up. Oh my god. You know, I feel like if we saw this episode before Yumiya turned into a Titan, I would have been like, hmm, that is very suspicious. How did she do that? <laughs> oh my god, Yumiya is now turning into a Titan. Yeah, see, look, her Titan has like those sharp teeth and her eyes are like scary. She looks like she's going to be a scary Titan. Oh, she's actually quite a small Titan. I was expecting her to be as big as Annie. Oh my god, what's gonna happen? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Everyone knows that she's a Titan now. Okay, not everyone, but everybody there. Yep, see, Rhino's arm is still bound. Okay, so he is not a Titan. Everybody is a Titan until we say so. Connie could be a Titan. I mean, his mom's a Titan. Bertolt could be a Titan. Oh my god. Is that the time that ate Rhino's friend? Oh my god. Oh my god guys, that's the time that ate Rhino and Bertolt's friend. Oh my god. <laughs> Rhino saved Krista, but still, oh my god. Okay, Rhino's pissed. I think he's not even like realizing that he's actually hurting her. He's like, his instinct is to save, but he's still obviously so caught up in that anger from the day when his friend got eaten by a titan. Oh my god. Okay, now he's woken up. Obviously, I think Ymir did know that she could turn into a titan because... It seems like she can control it, whereas Aaron, he didn't even know how to do it. It was more instinct-based. She was aware all along. Bertolt does make a good point. What is Yumiya's plan? Why did she jo join the Survey Corp? And what is her goal? Obviously, Right now, it's to save Krista. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. The Tynes will devour her like they devoured Annie. It's true, she could have escaped. Oh my gosh. Whoa, Connie! Oh my god, those times survive, guys. 
Oh my god, they all survived. I thought they would have at least like had a bit of time to run away because all that rubble squished them. Oh my god. Ymir, they're eating her. Is that Captain Levi? <laughs> oh my god, who was it? <laughs> it's a Mikasa! Guys! Guys, I knew it! It was a full on Lord of the Rings moment. Gandalf came and in this situation, Gandalf is Mikasa. Oh my god, she came. <laughs> they made it, oh my god. Oh my god, Aaron. Yeah, how about you just focus on what you're doing? Oh my god. <laughs> they did it. They killed all the Titans. Now, let's find Ymir, guys. Oh my god, keep Ymir away from Hanji. I can see Hanji looking at Ymir. Keep her away from Ymir. <laughs> All right guys, so that was the end of episode 30. Now I know the meaning behind the episode title, Historia. It is Krista's real name. That is so beautiful. Oh my god, she is so beautiful, you know. When you see Ymir waking up and she sees like Krista or Historia looking at her. I mean, I could wake up to that. Krista is really beautiful. <laughs> it was really interesting to see that um, Ymir is the Titan that actually killed Rana's friend. I think that's going to cause obviously a lot of issues. But like I said, guys, I think when these guys, when they turn into their Titan, yes, they can have some control. Um, like how Annie was able to uh, control her female time and Aaron was able to block the wall, the hole in the wall. But when Aaron was tired, he didn't recognize Mikasa or Aramin. So I feel like when they're tired, their time instinct takes over. And so I feel like maybe that's what happened with Ymir. Maybe she didn't know she could turn into a Titan and just instinctively turned into a Titan and attacked Rhino's friend. I also think that's the reason why Connie's village people, they were the Titans attacking Connie, Rhino, um, Ymir and um, Historia. So the smaller ones like Connie's village people must revert back to their um, Titan instinct. I also wanted to mention very quickly what was the language Ymir could read because I feel like she might have killed Reiner if those Titans hadn't attacked but it was really great seeing a little bit more about Historia's birth and her background and a little bit more about her. Obviously um, she is of some importance. Perhaps she was born to a nobleman, a very important nobleman, so much so that her birth risks his power. And so obviously she's very important. Um, I feel like maybe the nobleman paid 
the religious sect or is paying the religious sect to look after her but obviously they feel that she, she because she joined the cadet corp and essentially joined the survey corp she will die and that way they don't have to deal with her but anyways those are just my thoughts let me know in the comments below what you enjoyed about today's episode and i hope to see you all next time bye